All right, guys. So this is going to be a short report podcast on GSIT, GSI Technology Inc. And uh, yeah, so going over. So on Friday, Friday today is Monday, the fourteenth of May, two thousand twenty-three. So on Friday, um, it went up on no news, and it closed the day around two hundred ten percent, but it went up an extra two hundred percent in the after hours. And it had no news. G GSIT had no news. And if you look, so it was up on a pump from this guy, Lou Bassanese. Uh, where is this? Lou Bassanese um, from Fox Business. He went on about like uh, for a 30 sec, for about a minute, almost almost a minute. And he was saying to put GSIT on your watch list. He doesn't say he owns it. He doesn't say to buy it. He didn't say anything. He said to put it on your watch list. So all of a sudden, that was the, the catalyst because the GSIT had no news. Um, he was comparing it uh, to like to other big AI companies. And at the time, when Lou Bazanese was mentioning it, um, uh, to put it on your watch list on Fox, um, GSIT's market cap was less than a hundred million. So he's comparing it to these mega companies, these blue chips, and that's absolutely absurd, you know? So like, you know, so the real contracts are always gonna go to the, the big companies, not the small guy that's like, been, by the way, GSIT has been around for many years, it's been around since 2007, as we can see in the multi-year chart. It's been around, since 2007 and for the past five years, just the five year chart, it's been doing nothing but basically going down on a massive downtrend. And on Friday on no news, basically on Lou Bazanese's uh, pump um, on Fox, it had record volume, uh, all time record volume of 100 million. So it's never traded that much volume ever. And this is a company that's basically uh, a deadbeat company for the past five years, especially since 2021, it's been nothing but straight down, a downslide. Um, so on top of that, we had uh, Superman, uh, Paul Scalardi also pumping it. So he was pumping it from the ones and apparently he got out in the sixes. So the stock just kept squeezing in the after hours, which is just a, it's it's a short squeeze. So the the brokers they tend to close the the overcrowded shorts in the, in the after hours. But there was no news, there's no catalyst, and this is the pump job, pump job. Lou Bassanese and Paul Scalardi's and others. And okay, let's look into Lou Bassanese a, a little bit more. So if you look, if you go through SEC Edgar, um, you're gonna see Lou Bassanese pop up for this company called NDRA. And NDRA, if you do do a quick Google search, he owns uh, Lou Bazanese, the guy on on uh, Fox Business that was pumping GSIT, owns quite a, a lot of shares of uh, NDRA. So let's look at NDRA. Let's see what NDRA is doing. It's not doing anything. So it's this is the guy that that is supposedly you know, yeah, is this the right stock? I'm pretty sure it is. Let's see NDRA. Let's make sure because this is like so dormant. Um. Yeah, it's NDRA, Andrew Life Sciences, and this is Andrew Life Sciences. Yeah, so this is it. So this is um, this is the guy that pumped GSIT. He look at his track record. You know what I mean? This is like an illiquid borderline stock that's not doing so well. His this is his, his track record, and um, as you can see too, uh, NDRA. I like to use dilution tracker to see the the potential dilution in the company and how how healthy take the temperature gauge of the company and in this case ndra you know they need cash you know they have four months of cash four months to keep the lights on um just a toxic company has nothing going on so this is the guy that that's the track record for G, gsit on on fox news so gsit they they have about okay so yeah it's 180 million market cap now but he was comparing it to, for example, to NVIDIA. NVIDIA. 
What's the th or or Microsoft? Ah, NVDA. Oh, there we go. Okay, so NVIDIA is is a seven hundred billion market cap. So how are you going to compare a, a sub one hundred million market cap to a seven hundred billion market cap? It's just ridiculous. So, like I said, the, the, all the contracts are going to go to the big companies. They're not going to go to the small companies. Uh, we need is they're going to go to the real McCoy, not the fake McCoy. And GSIT is the is the fake McCoy. And to end this podcast. The final, um, the final dagger on this one is the stock options. So, GSIT has a lot of stock options around this area. So, they have 1.4 million stock options at three dollars and ten cents, and 4.5 million stock options at six dollars and seven cents. And let's see the chart. So, on Friday. It actually hit all the threes. It hit the 1.5 million of the threes. Now they have 8.5 million stock options from at six dollars. So all the um, the the people that hold the stock options, 8.5 million worth of stock options, they're all in the money. So they're going to be looking to get out. And you, you know, you it's it's uh it's highly likely they were talking about it over the weekend and passing the word around, like, hey, did you see what GSIT did did? Uh, we have stock options. Eight is 8.5 million stock options. Is a lot of stock options, especially when the float is only 17 to 18 million float. So that's going to significantly increase the float, which causes dilution and which causes the uh, downward selling pressure. And as you can see, the stock for the past five years has been on a downtrend. So this is their chance to, to get out uh, of the stock with those stock options, to get those stock options um, to use them. So they're going to be looking for, to do that. So, okay. So we have to, to sum up, we had the pump job from Paul Bassanese from Fox We had the pump job from Superman, which likely sold already. He was, he was going around showing off about his, uh, his pick. Um, so that was a temporary pump job. There's no catalyst. Uh, this is not, this has been on a downward trend for the past five years. And it's up 400%. It's 400%. It's it's unsustainable all-time record volume. The stock has been around since 2007, and all of a sudden it has all-time record volume on basically no news. So that's not sustainable. So, uh, yeah, this this concludes the short report. Basically, this is a pump and dump on a deadbeat on a deadbeat company. Well, I'll see you guys later. Stay tuned for more short reports podcasts.